Hi, I'm Ella Hodgson from Selwyn House School, Case, I'm now doing Case 482. Um, I'm going to talk to you about the ISS. Imagine this. It's November the 20th, 1998, and you have just launched into space on the ISS. This is what actually happened in 1998. And you know what? People have been living on that old space station for 10 years now. But there's one problem for me though. It's that, why did they send people out there in that big black universe? You're probably wondering, what a silly question. I know, I think that too. But also, I have three reasons, and I want to share them with you. My first reason is that it's so dangerous. I mean, who knows what's out there? There could be a black hole, a huge black hole wanting to suck you up, or a star about to explode, or maybe just maybe, there could be brain-sucking aliens about to eat your brain and... Sorry, sometimes I can get carried away with my imagination. Anyway, my first reason is it's too dangerous. My second reason is, or question, is, is the IC safe? Imagine you're in a 19,323 kg space station. Its diameter is 12.56 metres. Would you want to be on that bigger than a five bedroom space station? I think not. It also has 52 computers just to control this space station. So my second reason is, or question, is, is the ISS safe? My third reason is, who knows who you're sharing a bedroom with. Seriously, I'm not being silly. There could be people that you don't know. For instance, you've just started a job at the ISS. You've just moved into your new bedroom. You open the door and there sitting at the foot of your bed is the complete stranger. So you wake up in the middle of the night. You hear a shatter and there standing beside you is the complete stranger. So, my third reason is, who knows who you're sharing a bedroom with? So there you have it, my three reasons about the big ISS. Hope you enjoyed my speech. And about those brain-sucking aliens, now that's another story to be told. Thanks to the NASA website, Wikipedia and you. Once again, thanks for watching.